So we're back then with video number four and uh, building the best Black Panther series. A video series where I will freely admit that I'm massively getting ahead of myself releasing videos such as this before Black Panther's even out. But the whole idea behind these is that they will help you hit the ground running with Black Panther. There's any changes when the game actually comes out because it will be version 2.0 then I will put out updated videos. But fingers crossed these videos will still be relevant when it does actually come out. But in this series, in video number one, we ran over how to get two times exotic and legendary loot for the upcoming reset. In the second video, we ran over the best XP farming methods. In video number three, we talked about the best place to actually go to farm loot. And then in tonight's video, we finish up with what perks to look out for on the loot that you farmed from the last video. And we'll also quickly talk about where to farm exotic and legendary sets for Black Panther as well. Now, all these videos are actually linked as a pin post in the comments below. So if you've not watched any of the previous ones, I would actually recommend watching them in order and they'll make a lot more sense. But let's jump in. We'll start off talking about the perks first. So we have the four different gear slots listed here. Now within each of them, I've actually noted the particular perk slot that the perk can drop in. If it's dropping from a piece of gear that's not just a random legendary from the Snowy Tundra Vault, then I've noted that as well. But let's run through these. The first one we have, if you're running a melee Black Panther, this will be a really important perk slot to look out for. So with this is a chance that melee crits can grant invulnerability, defense buff, heroic burst and intrinsic burst, so really powerful. You've then got a chance melee crits can grant Jarvis Barrier. This is perk slot 1 once again. It comes from Last Avenger Standing. That's the 14th floor high. You can also get this from DNA Chess as well. The next one we have is a bit of an odd one. And it's not a universal perk in that it won't show up in all heroes. And it may not actually show up in Black Panther. But it's so powerful I felt it was worthwhile showing up here. Now in perk slot number 3 you will have a chance. It's a variable condition that will activate it. But you'll have a chance that you can actually get a 15% crit chance for various different attacks and also you can have 135% crit damage as well so definitely look out for this here but once again not guaranteed it will be on Black Panther. Moving on to the next one there's a chance melee crit grants Tachyon Surge that's really powerful that's perk slot 3 and that comes from your Tachyon Storm gear later on in the video I'll tell you where you get your Tachyon Storm gear. Next up uh, is a chance melee crit grants Jarvis Barrier, great for survivability. Perk slot 3 comes from your hive mind gear, that is your mega hives, and then you have a 20% potentiator status damage increase. This is perk slot 3, and once again, it comes from your hive mind. Potentiators are incredibly strong. I'll just give you an example why. So the developers a while well back told us, for example, the average player, their base damage is a thousand percent. So with a potentiator, it would actually multiply that. So it would give you an additional 200%. To put that into context, with the champion system, if you max out the melee tree, which would take a fair amount of time, that only gives you an additional 15% flat damage, whereas a potentiator is giving you 200%. So these really are amazing. Do not overlook them at all. We move on to the range tree next. Now there is actually a lot of overlap with the melee tree. So I'm not going to read out everything. I'm just going to point out the one big difference for range characters. So if range characters are the chance that a range crit can actually grant the damage buff. Whereas your melee ones you can't get the damage buff via a, a melee crit. So it's much easier to actually activate it. Now with this the damage buff exceptionally powerful. 35% flat crit. Similar to the Potentiator, it actually works as a multiplier, so it gives you 60% additional damage. If your base damage was 1000, that would be an increase of 600% damage it would give you. It's completely broken, to be honest, I wish they would actually just remove the perk, it's that broken as much as it's nice to get the damage boost. But yeah, you cannot overlook the, the damage buff at all, and it's really easy to get on your range characters, and that will be in your perk slot number 1. Now, moving on to Defence Nix, there's not a great deal that goes on here, but there's a, a really nice perk for your melee characters that can't pick up the damage buff from melee crit. So it's this first one here, a chance taking damage grants either damage buff, defence buff or intrinsic burst. If you're a melee character who's taking damage, then without a doubt you want, to, you want to go for this and you want to get the taking damage grants a damage buff. It's called a reactive perk that you're looking out for. Perk slot number one again, we have a chance taking damage grants Jarvis Barrier. This is exceptionally rare. It comes from your Last Avenger standing, once again, and potentially DNA chest. Really rare, but incredibly powerful to get extra health when you actually get hit. And then once again, we've got a potentiator. In this instance, it's coming from your Tachyon and Storm Gear, and it will drop in perk slot number two. 
Now, finishing up here, we have the heroic slot. These are all based around defeating enemies, really. So, a chance defeating enemies grants Tachyon Surge. Tachyon Surge works as a multiplier again, and it's an additional 50% damage, so really powerful. With this, it's perk slot 1, and it's a Tachyon Storm Gear. We have a chance defeating enemies grants Jarvis Barrier. Perk slot 1, that's your Hive Mind Gear. Chance defeating enemies grants damage buff, defense buff, intrinsic burst, heroic burst. Perk slot 2, this is one I used to overlook a little bit, but I've started dropping it into my builds and it's actually really helpful. You have a potentiator as well here, so you can see you can get the potentiator across all four slots. I don't think if you'd done that you'd be using the best gear, because you'd be using the hive mind gear in all four slots, meaning you're missing your damage buff and so on. But it would be interesting to see that additional 80% damage, how that would actually play out. Because again, using a base of 1000, that would be 800% damage really crazy but that's a potentiator and then the final one defeat three enemies in rapid succession for invulnerability damage buff defense buff intrinsic burst and also the heroic burst so this is a really nice one here but of course it won't be that useful in boss fights if it's just a solitary boss you're going up against so that's all the best perks and where to actually look for them in regards to their, their perk order what we're going to do now is talk about the exotic and legendary sets and where you farm them so we've got all your set locations here, but I'll very quickly run over them. Legendary set 1, available in your elite vaults, guaranteed drop. Once you actually complete the vault, it will disappear from the map. If you want to run it again, you need to get a new vault key. So you'll need to get into Stark Realities or Day at the Remains and get into one of the underground vaults there and have a chance of getting a vault key. So it can take a while to farm this, but you can repeat it. It just takes a bit of time. Legendary set 2, available in elite villain sectors. Sadly, they changed it so you can only do these twice a day. With the War for Wakanda update and a new faction coming, we should be able to do these three times a day, but it is a guaranteed drop. Legendary set number 3, this is available in Elite Hives, it's a guaranteed drop and there's no limit on how many times you can actually run this and the level takes around about 20-25 minutes or so and generally the Elite Hive set is the strongest one out of the different legendary sets that are available. Moving on to exotics next here, so the first one, available in Elite Heroic Hives, that's your 14th floor version, also known as Last Avenger Standing. Very low drop rate, but there's no limit on how many times you can run this. If you don't get an exotic, what you will get instead is a Jarvis barrier piece, and it could be the reactive Jarvis barrier that actually procs on hat, so really nice if you get that. Exotic set number 2, which is normally one of the best ones because the perks are actually tailored towards hero, and that actually applies the legendary set 1, 2 and 3 as well, the perks will be tailored towards the hero, but for exotic set number 2, it used to be the Mega Hives, you would get this, but it's now available in priority missions, so you can only get one a week, and that's when you reset after your, your first day reset as well. Storm Gear is up next, available in Tachyon missions and beating the odds, that's the Monica boss fight, and there's a higher chance of actually getting an exotic drop on your first completion of your Tachyon Rifts daily, and the beating the odds mission weekly. We have Hive Mind Gear, a lot of RNG in this gear set, but potential for some really nice combinations. This is available in the Mega Hive, and this is your 4 times 5 floors. Guaranteed two exotics once a week after reset. At the moment, you can actually do this three times a week. It's just for the month of August, I believe. And then finishing up, you've got your Omega gear from the Omega level threat. This is absolute garbage. Don't waste your time actually farming this. So with that, that really should be everything you need to know to hit the ground running with Black Panther as soon as he does come out. If there are any changes to these methods, then I will look to do an updated video. But for now, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. I'll see you all again soon.